Okay. It's just uh, just after 12 on Saturday morning, and <clears throat> I haven't painted in a while. But um, I'm going to start a new one. I've got a new canvas, and I don't. I'm not super sure what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to do some kind of, another kind of sky. I've got a couple more skies in me. So this one is. Oh, this canvas looks like. Ah, oh, shit, look at that. I don't know if you can see this, but I need to. Okay, I can fix this up. Here, I'll show you a trick. I just noticed there's a problem with the canvas. This is 16 by 20. And. If you look here, let's see if I can see it. Okay. Maybe mount it like this. All along here, it's like indented. Here, there you can see it. See how the canvas is? Okay, so here's a little trick. Take some water. Put it back there. The best way to do it is you get a spray bottle and you mist it. But I'm able to use my magic fingers to fix it, not otherwise. So yeah, it's really got a lot back there. So I think I must maybe, a, oh, maybe this, this twisting actually might help too. Oh, that's, that's actually pretty handy. So yeah, that actually made a big difference. They got these, uh, this kind of canvas is kind of neat. It has these like built-in tighteners, fasteners. Normally there's like little wood slots, but this works. But the water when it dries tightens it up. Okay, that's that's much better. I don't want to tighten these things. I never actually, um, never, but I don't usually use these. Okay. I like uh, yeah, this canvas. This is really good. Wow. Okay. I like a bit more tautness to the canvas. All right. So what the hell am I going to do? I'm going to get the thing focused. There we go. Come on, focus. All right. I'll probably zoom in. Now, what the hell am I going to do? What the hell am I gonna do? Let's let's put some color. Smell this red. And my goal still is to use up these paints that are in here. All right. Well, then I'm gonna take a bigger brush. Excuse me. This brush is not very good. Well, maybe I'll use this to, yeah, so what the hell am I going to do? Am I going to do another landscape with a weird sky? Because just to complete a set. This time I'm going to make the wash kind of as dry as I can because that way I don't have to wait a few times. I, I put too much water. Oh, that be nice. Put too much water and then I had to like wait about 10 minutes. Is this oil? Is this real oil? Hmm. This might actually be. <sighs> I actually can't tell. I use water based oils, obviously. You can just see me dipping in the water. And every once in a blue moon, I accidentally buy or maybe at the store they don't. They, they screwed up by putting them together, but that I mean, it's pretty rare because the labels are all unique. They look different, but it just smells very oily. It's kind of a nice smell. I like it. <clears throat> I've never seen them sold with that feature. What does it say? Nift or something. Oh, like nifty? Uh, what feature? What? Oh, the, the canvas, yeah. Yeah, it's, I was uh, just at the art store one day and they were uh, having a sale and 
I, uh, I like the quality of the canvas and just the things in the back are like a, I, I mean, at the time I didn't, wouldn't consider it like a bonus because I didn't know how, how well they would work. But uh, just now apparently they, they work great. <clears throat> so what the hell is this painting going to be? What are you going to do? I've been wanting to do all kinds of different paintings. And, uh, oops, there's some yellow in my hand. Let's just put it there. Oh, my eyes are going, the fasteners in the corner. Yeah, there's like about, I think there's about a, a 15 second delay. Okay. I like the colors I did in this one. I think maybe I'll do something like this. I think I might. I think I might, let's see. I like the colors down here. These were kind of nice. Right there. Those are kind of nice. So I think I might do, okay. There's something about red. Oh, that's attractive. Okay, look at that. That dent's still here. I could always do, yeah, I could fix it later, but all right. A giant syringe sucking up a sky. That's pretty, uh, very specific. <laughs> I think, uh, I don't know. I don't know. That's my dog. With her, with her monkey. Nugget, is that your monkey? Look how cute this dog is. This is, come here, Nugget. Come here. Where's your monkey? Where's your monkey here? Come here. Ah, uh, she's too busy. She's having fun. All right, forget that. All right. Okay. All right. <clears throat> oh, and I also like that sky fire painting I did back there. That one back there. Hmm. What the hell to do? Hmm. What the hell to do? Huh. Hmm. Okay, so, oh, let's see if there's any colors here. What? I'm just doing the, the old go with the flow here, actually. Or just do it. Fuck it. Let's just do it our teeth. All right. Uh. All right, here you go. There's guys who develop the skills to like paint with their with their teeth. All right, I don't know why I'm this doing this bottom little reflecting little things all the time. I don't know. Just so this paint's still kind of wet. I just have, and that's that's my answer. Oh, look at that! Like a little, very little landscape. Oh, I think I was wanting to do more water, but that, okay, I guess this is not going to be this painting. This painting is not going to have lots of water. All right, that's not annoying at all. Nugget, you with your chewing up your thing. Do I have any paint left over here? Okay. Okay, where's the white? Is this going to be a white cloud here? Oh, I like the way it's rolling. Yeah, like rolling cloud. So maybe 
Maybe the white's up here. Ooh, that's shit balls. It's uh, paint still wet. So maybe this is gonna be like a dark cloud. Whoa. Yeah. And these are like these like hopeful, happy kind of like clouds here. It's definitely a neat effect when you're painting while it's still wet. Oh yeah, what if, what if like all up here was more white? Like this will be like open sky up here. Okay. And it's more dark underneath. Okay. Um Yeah. Like what if uh So much for red. Maybe maybe I'm gonna do lots of red in here. It's very important you use sound effects. Okay. Yes, sound effects. She loves that stupid thing. All right. Hmm. What if there's like red in here? What if I just fuck it? Let's just do like my yeah. What's gonna be down here? I'm kind of feeling like that orangey kind of. Oh, it's so wet. Oh, is this part of the sky? Yeah, this is gonna be part of the sky. I'm just, gonna be just mixing in with this red blow up. Okay, let's just see. Drink, 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 drink. One second. I got a knee brace. <laughs> Let's try the sucker on. I'm sorry, Nugget. I didn't even scare you. Sorry, baby. All right. When I was 17, I was playing football. Here, let's check this sucker out. This is a little diversion here. When I was 17, I was playing football. The last game of the season and I was I was like uh this is the center ah oh, fuck what was that it was just I was one of the linemen and this is a true story I uh there was the last play I went out and I had to I had to uh take out like the what the fuck the linebacker so that the uh I think it was like a tight end or something, would get the ball and try to get a touchdown, and I did it. I went out and I took out two guys, and we scored touchdown, won the game, won the season, but uh, one guy hit me high, and one guy hit me low, and it tore my my medial collateral and anterior cruciate basically right off. Oh, this is kind of cool. So now I'm just testing this sucker out. Put a knee thing on right there. So I uh, completely destroyed my knee, and uh, took me six months. I had this full, I had to have, you know, I think two, no, for sure one arthroscopic surgery to try to fix it up, and then I, uh, where's the thing? Then, uh, what happened? Yeah, for six months I had this basic like bionic leg brace thing. I had to wear it all the time, except for the shower. It got so stinky, it was gross. 
Then I had to do physio for like two years. And uh, finally was, no, no, actually, no. Well, I was in physio for years, but I uh, then was playing soccer just like before I graduated high school. And I went to kick the ball and I missed and my knee went boom and like it tore the ligaments again and it was just flopping around. It was gross. Like I was looking down and my my bottom leg was just flopping. And surprisingly, it wasn't as painful. So then I had another surgery. I did uh, lots of rehab. Then I went on a, oh no, before that. You know, yeah, I went on a ski trip with some buddies and that destroyed my knee and I had to have another arthroscopic surgery. And then I, then I, then I was like really into, you know, I was really into martial arts quite heavily. I was doing it like six, seven days a week, pretty much for a couple of years till, till I was 27 and I was in a tournament. This was Taekwondo, I think. And then my knee just sort of gave out again. And or was it 25, 27, something like that. And ever since, Nugget, it's okay, come here. It's okay. She's looking down at me. Yeah, and I've never, uh, I've never been able to run since I was 27. Mm -hmm. So I've got just arthroarthritis, I think it's osteoarthritis. <laughs> it sucks because I used to actually love to run. Nugget, it's okay, come here. Good girl. Hi, baby. Yeah, so I can't run and I'm trying. I just thought I would, I get lots of knee pain like at night when I'm sleeping. So I just, uh, was Amazon. I thought I'd order it. It came a day early, which is kind of cool. And it feels good. Oh my God, that feels great. Because I only have about 65% of my cartilage on one knee so the bone is always grating together oh I had this really disgusting procedure done um because about a year year or two ago it was so bad i couldn't even walk uh and i went to I, there's a specialist in toronto i went to and he said okay well we're gonna try something before you have to have another surgery or maybe even a knee replacement cortisone just wasn't good enough so it's called blood platelet blood platelet replacement and uh, what they do is they take some blood from you spin it in a centrifuge and remove like i forget which of the cells but it what's left is i think just these blood platelets apparently and then he gets his needle and he fucking injects it right in my knee so like he just does it and I'm, I'm not i don't like needles like who likes needles but i really don't like needles so basically i sit there they take the blood on your arm you wait a few, little while they, they take they have a lab there they bring it back and he just literally takes this big giant freaking needle and you're watching him like there's no anesthetics he just injects it straight in your knee and I'm, oh, fuck. so i did that i did it three times and after a couple months I was back in business and back walking and stuff and, and yeah okay hmm what do we got here what the hell is this thing hmm I don't know do I have any green left there's some green just trying to like Live some stuff in this thing. That's a nice color. Look at this. I like blue green. There's something about it. Hmm. 
I was wanting to do red, but what color should be up here? What color should be up there? What about a light blue? Yeah, okay, I'll need another brush. But look at like a turquoise. I wonder if I have anything like that. Okay, let's try to use it. I, for sure, I know I have a, a large one somewhere. Oh, right here. This one. What is this? Cerulean blue. I just like the name Cerulean. Sounds like one of the races in Star Trek. Captain, you've encountered the Cerulean ambassador. A little bit light, I mean a little bit dark. It's because the canvas is still rather wet. But I'm going with it because it's it's creating a different kind of different kind of vibe. Captain, we've encountered the Australian ambassador. He's entering the uh, star system as we speak. Long range sensors detect tachyon emissions. Is that Worf? I was imitating. Captain. Yes, that is Worf. Captain, as a Klingon, I advise a preemptive strike with an array of photon torpedoes. So what I'm, what I'm going for here, yeah, it's like a storm on the bottom and these kind of hopeful clouds up here. Hmm. I like that kind of glassy effect of <sighs> whatever, whatever. What is this? Is this the same yellow? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Let's just bring that down here. What's that yellow? That's nice. Oh, no? Where did I get that? It's not the one I just used. Is it this? No, that's a very lemon mustard yellow. Well, oh well. I'm gonna bring in. Yeah, damn it. Where did I get this? Oh, I know. It was the yellow, but when I mixed it with when I was painting the background, sorry, I'm not painting the background. What the hell am I talking about? When I was painting it, the, uh, come on, Josh, think. Damn it. Oh, yeah, the wetness of the canvas behind it was turning that color to something else. Okay, so what kind of, let's just, just do some crazy, stuff here. Let's just, like, who knows what the fuck these things are. Sometimes it's fun just to make stuff up. Or it's always fun to make stuff up. But like, who, like, just completely make it up. Just 
Each time it's a little bit different. Okay, that's going to be here. That's going to be here because I'm trying to do as above as below, as the Freemasons say. You think about that idea. As above, so below. I believe there are different ways they're using that phrase. One of which is on the higher spiritual plane, it mirrors the lower plane as of our existence. Something, oh hey Cam. Yeah. I didn't have time to call that guy yet. I got the diabetes. Diabetes, but I've been completely on top of it. So that's this past week I've been just just taking care of stuff I need to take care of. That's why I haven't called that dude yet. Oh, plus I had to teach Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So I, I couldn't uh, get a spare moment. should I do what about something what if what if I do something like this like he doesn't even I'm literally thinking about one of my favorite painters who it's weird I love his stuff but I don't like looking at it for a long time and that's Auguste Odilion Rodin no it is not Auguste just Odilion Rodin and I have known about him since I've been maybe 15 I always admired his stuff, and I always liked the the strangeness of it, the fantasy of it. And so, but he doesn't grab me like other painters. Like I could just look at Tom Thompson's or Van Gogh's or uh, Chagall's. No, no, not even Chagall's. Tom Thompson and Van Gogh's because they're such the they're they're just incredible the mastery like they're literally like they are literally masters i didn't and to be honest i didn't i've never been impressed by picasso to be honest he's like to me he's like the most overrated artist that ever lived not impressed even slightly just i don't get it not that i don't get it just i think people are fucking stupid that's what i think but whatever anyhow but Ole Rodin had this neat style where he just made these magical kind of shapes and he didn't give a shit about, you know, the reality of it. So that's kind of what I'm thinking about a little bit when I'm doing this one right now. Is my buds Ole Rodin. No, Ole uh, Yeah, Rodin. Redon. Maybe Redon. R E D O N. Someone's got to tell me how the hell to say his name. Like, isn't that strange? You're just one of those people that I've discovered by myself. Didn't didn't need to go to art school. I didn't need to anyone to teach me stuff. It was just more like came across, and I liked it. I just liked it. Look at that weird fucking thing. Okay, what I probably need to do is like I need to have some. I need to vary up the brush strokes a bit. Let's so that what if I had more red down here? Oh yeah, I want that. I want a bit of this will be interesting. What if I did this? Okay. If I'm gonna go here, I gotta am I gonna bring it thin? Then I have to thin it out here. I'm not sure that's the best approach, but let me bring up some curl up the clouds here and I should probably bring them here yeah. 
<clears throat> hmm. Let's let's bring in another color. Should I bring this clear pink in? This is, it looks it says here. I mean that definitely looks like pink here. The color is far more. God, I don't even know how you describe it. What does it say? What the hell? Something rose. Oh yeah, that's it's definitely a rose color. Let's try it. Let's see what happens if I put some rose in there. Where am I going to put the rose? I've got a streak of, oh yeah. Well, you know, it's okay, it's all right. I think I need to mix it with something. What's it, what if I took that rose color, and mixed it with a bit of white? Ooh, look at that. That is nice. It's like this purpley pink something or other. Let's just smudge it on. Okay, all right, let's try some yellow. What the hell if I took yellow? And mashed it in there. It's kind of, kind of, you know what? It's kind of a gross color, but I like it. It's like a mm, slightly muddy mustard, sort of. Because I think I got to be careful. Like, I, I tend to go a little crazy with my uh, highly saturated colors in this. It's not always what I really want. So I kind of have to make a decision to. Tone it down a little bit. Okay, so some more white. Today's your birthday? No. Why would you think it's my birthday? Like a smug mauve. Hmm. A sm smug? How is it smug? Mauve, I kind of get. I don't know what the hell you're talking about, Wesley. It's smug. I think. You gotta lay off the medical marijuana, pal. I'm just joking. Okay. Uh. Yeah, I don't get the smug move. I try and understand what the hell it means. Smug. Smug. Okay. Oh, that's a cool color. That's kind of nice. Let's, let's, what could I do? Yeah, it's just like a, this is like a beautiful color, man. I don't know what it is. It's kind of like a smug move, actually. What if I, yeah, maybe I do some vertical lines? I don't usually, yeah, let's try that. But I, what I want to do is like, okay, look at this weird shit happening over here. I don't know what the hell that is. Fucking, what kind of clouds? What kind of clouds are these things? It's almost like a weird sunset happening thing over here. Oh, there's a big smack of white. Let me bring that white over here. Let me bring some white thin lines. Let's just do some mashing of colors. And... Yeah, that's kind of nice. I like that. What the fuck is that? Okay, I'm talking to myself here. Hmm. All right, what do we, we gotta do something. There's something, okay, this is all interesting. What if I did just a crazy red? Like what if, 
Does that even... Let's go back to... Let's try a different red. Let's try this one. This is probably nice. This is cadmium red. I'd love to get... I'd like to try out some of the more expensive series paints. I just can't afford... Like, these are series one. There's three series. I'm pretty sure. One, two, and three. And these ones are about 25 bucks each. And the higher series, they go up to like $50, $60 each. And only because it's like the pigmentation is, is more difficult to get. And to be honest, I don't think they look that... You can't even really fucking tell. Like, I'm sorry. It's just... You can just make your own colors. You don't need to spend that much money. But I'd like to one day just try it out. It'd be like going to a nice restaurant, having a splurge. That's that's would be my equivalent thing. I don't know if that worked out very well. Hmm. I don't know. Something, something, something. Maybe orange? Look at that orange. I love this one. Cadmium orange hue. Let's try this. What if I threw... I think I should put some greens in the sky. That'd be kind of fun and freaky. What is this? Let's try this. There's something... Okay, I'm kind of like just thinking composition-wise. Having kind of a flow. Kind of missing something. Maybe I am, maybe I'm not. What's it to you? Okay. Like maybe I should have like. I need to. There's something I need to do with this. Hmm. Maybe purples over here. Maybe now is when I can. What is this? This is a. Oh, this is the same as that. Oh, this is kind of a. I was. Whoops. Very oily. Oh yeah, this sometimes happens. So when the oil separates, let's see if you can see that. I just poured it in. I wait. I. I blah, 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 blah. See the oil dripping. Sometimes happens when you leave the paints for a while, the oil separates inside the thing. And then, let's do, I don't know, let's see what happens when I uh, <clears throat> use the extra oil that's in there. Oh, fuck it, that's stupid. I used the wrong end of the paintbrush. <laughs> okay. This is a pretty nice purpley. Let me mix it up with a, bit, with a little bit of lightness. Okay, let's try some of this white. Hmm. Hmm. It's very... This might be the same as the rose color. I don't know. It's got a... Oh, that's kind of a beautiful color. If I just did a bit more of a it's almost too pretty. That might be a problem. We don't want to make it too pretty. Hmm. I think it might be kind of cool to have strokes cut. Like, uh, what the hell am I talking about?
a couple guys a while ago. And like four dudes were making fun of me. <coughs> um, in the comments section when I was painting. It was funny. I really, I really appreciated it. <laughs> One guy says, is this Darth Vader? I think it's because like I'm breathing heavy because, you know, I'm overweight. I thought it was such a funny comment. And they never came back. They were trolling me. <laughs> uh, I thought it was funny. Nigel. One guy was named Nigel. You can't get offended by someone named Nigel. You know, Nigel's like the kid who wore a bow tie in high school. <laughs> Nigel. I never knew a kid who wore about that in high school, but that's that's kind of how I imagine it. It's hard to get upset at someone named Nigel. I probably have. <laughs> Nigel, actually, I did know a Nigel in high school, and he was a very sweet guy, very nice guy, and he had a very slow way of speaking that was interesting, and then. A little infuriating because he spoke very slowly and, it, and it, it gave off the impression that he was slow like intellectually but he was not at all he's a very smart guy but he sort of it was almost like a, a southern drawl kind of but he was Canadian so it wasn't southern at all and he always spoke really slowly he wasn't not a deep voice but I was like Nigel I didn't know him very well but, uh, yeah, he was a nice guy. I like that guy. I always sort of just did my own thing. I never hung out with cliques and stuff. I was never into that. To my own detriment, I'd say. I probably would have been a lot, have a lot more friends in high school. But uh, I had I had enough friends. I didn't, I didn't need to be a part of groups. I always liked being a loner. And I never felt bad about it. You know, I prefer just a couple friends. That's it. Although I had a really tight group of friends. What am I thinking about? Like when I was a kid, there was just like one, two, three, four, five, about five guys and about four four girls we had this real strong group we hung out all the time we used to bike downtown to go to dim sum on sunday like religiously we used to hang out we would go to the art gallery we would do all kinds of stuff man so that's not totally true that was a loner i was just at high school most of my friends my close friends weren't, didn't go to the school i went to because i went to an all guy school and that was all right, but uh, most of my friends were from the public school system, let's just say, because I, yeah, most of my friends I grew up with weren't too fancy. Okay, what am I doing here? I kind of am getting a bit of that dramatic vibe I was hoping for. Let's see if I can put some other colors in there. Like, is there a green somewhere? Like a dark green? Like this? What if I mix a bit of white with it? That's dead. That's dead. That's dead. Where's the... Here's some white. Wonder if just weird little bits of there. I might take a break soon. I kind of feel like <sighs> taking a break.
Maybe some Rams would go well. What about this? This is kind of like a, a dull green, olive green. It's kind of like a gross green, to be honest. It's kind of a nasty, nasty color. But I need to do that because I'm making my colors too damn happy. I need to have a bit more. I like things that are more solemn, to be honest, but things always come out very bright and intense. So who knows why. I want some brown. I do want brown. I think. So I'm not crazy about these little bits of... Am I? There's something... Yeah, this is a bit messy over here. I'm not quite sure. Where's the white? Let's see if I can see what kind of brown this is when I brighten it up a bit. Let's see what you got. Yeah, that's kind of nice. Let's, let's bring some of that brown into the sky. I like that brown. Where'd it go? Oh, top song. Interesting. Well, I think this is a good first pass at this painting. I'm going to put red and green. That's kind of a funkadelic color. Red and green. Trying to make this uh, little horizon line thinner, working it down. Um, this needs something. What about, yeah, if I did that. Oops, I gotta paint the edge of this canvas here.
Hmm. Let's do uh Cerulean blue. Cerulean blue. Cerulean blue. It's the love boat. Soon we'll be blue, 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 blue romance. It's the love boat. All I remember is Isaac was a bartender. It was Captain Stooping or something? I always remember he was sort of like a dweeb looking dude. Captain Stooping, I think. Where's the white? The love boat soon will be making some the romance. The love boat. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Give me some white. Give me some white. Love boat. Soon we'll be making someone sing the song with me. Cause I don't know the words to the song. Du, 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 du. Du, oops. Soon we'll be. Du, 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 du. Okay, let's just take a break. I think that's a good start. Gotta meet this like strange kind of storm coming. So I'll probably bring in some more intensity over there. Ooh, this is kind of neat. What if it's like a, you know, like... Maybe that wasn't such a good idea, but... Maybe it is. Maybe it is a good idea. Let's just gently sort of touch with these brush strokes. Yeah, probably need to work on that a little bit. All right, taking a break. I think, uh, okay. This is a little bit messy over here. Hmm. Interesting, I'm not sure if I like these. I might wanna take my finger and swirl it around a little bit. Break it up a little bit, break up these clouds. Little finger painting. All right, I think that's a little, just a little bit better. I think I might want to make hide the bit of that red showing through a little bit. Do a little August Rodin brush strokes by just 
sort of tapping it with my finger. Okay. All right. Yeah, that's a good. Uh, it's a good start. Whoa! What the fuck is this thing? It kind of needs. Maybe it needs a bit more. Just a bit more. What the? Whoa, did I fuck that up? I don't know. No, it looks that looks good. Okay. All right. Where's that blue? Maybe even the brown. Where's that brown? I feel like doing a streak of brown. Like right here. Covering up some of this blue is just too blue. And then bring in some of this darkness here. I'm not sure if I like that blue right there, so I might just hide it a bit. Okay. You know what? I need the brown. Okay, I've, let's stop. Let's stop. One more, two little, just little, little streaks to bring that out. Yeah, kind of like a, I want a little bit of highlight on the bottom of this thing. There we go. Okay. All right, I'm stopping. Wow, this is like, this sort of knocks me out of it, man. It's like, woo. Got to take a break now. Okay. Wow. It's like, I can't do this all the time. Oh, it feels good. It feels like uh, a little bit like sex. <laughs> Where's the white? I want to... I just need a bit more white to finish this off and then it's break. I want a sharp division here. Do I want that? Uh, well, it's too late. I did it. Okay, I'm done. Break. Time. How long? An hour? An hour. Oh, that's so fucking crazy. It's like a crazy weird clock I have that it's like... I got one hour of painting and then I have to like pew, stop. It's just, uh, it's like you got this energy supply and pew, get sucked all out. Okay. Yeah, I could probably use more like swirls and stuff up here, but uh, all right. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'm gonna, as usual, I'm just going to let it sit for a while, and uh, if I need to come back to it, did I just do these? I don't know if I like that. If I need to come back to it, I will, which is usually the case. Like this painting over here. I freaking hate this painting. This painting. Bugs the shit out of me. The composition it bugs me so much. The way it's all top heavy here, and then bleh, I don't know. So I'm I'm gonna come back to this one at some point. And I just don't like the composition. But okay, let's just leave this one for now. Thanks for watching. See ya. And.